This is Dr. Michael Guth. I am a health economics and outcomes researcher, and I specialize in the prevention of a cluster of age-related diseases known as the metabolic syndrome using nutrition, supplement, and prescription drugs. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about recommended lab tests for everyone interested in proactively managing his or her health. Life Extension Foundation, which can be found on the internet at lef.org, has a recommended testing protocol for all men and women. The protocol features lab tests to determine each member's risk of cardiovascular disease, stroke, diabetes, and other conditions associated with the metabolic syndrome. The actual tests include the lipid panel, C-reactive protein, which is the best measure available for heart attack risk, homocysteine, which is a measure of systemic inflammation and actually is highly correlated or at least correlated somewhat with stroke risk. Hormones including DHEA sulfate, free and total testosterone, progesterone for women, estradiol, which is a measure of estrogen that's important for both men and women, TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, 25 hydroxy vitamin D, and serum, fasting serum glucose, kidney function tests, which would include creatinine. BUN, uric acid, and the BUN creatinine ratio. Liver function tests including AST, ALT, LDH, GGT, bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase. The minerals which are part of any complete metabolic panel <coughs> are calcium, potassium, sodium, chloride, and iron. The life extension panel includes phosphorus. That's an important mineral to test because phosphorus is inversely related to fructose consumption. So the more fruit you eat, the lower your phosphorus levels tend to be. Many labs do not calculate phosphorus and I would check with your own physician's lab to ensure that phosphorus will be reported in the complete metabolic panel portion of the blood test. In addition, we need to test for proteins including albumin, globulin, total protein, the complete blood count CBC, and for men only, the PSA test, the prostate specific antigen test. Now, this latter test is somewhat controversial and I want to point out I strongly, strongly recommend all men over age 45 get the PSA test. However, I recommend that because it is an important indication of prostate irritation. It is not a reliable marker of prostate cancer. So if the PSA number is elevated, that means the prostate somehow is being irritated. It does not necessarily imply that the person has cancer or even needs to be checked for cancer. To this life extension list, I would add a test for hemoglobin A1c, which is the three-month average of serum glucose, to determine whether a person has diabetic or pre-diabetic status. I also would not retest the vitamin D levels unless the patient has been on a therapeutic dose of vitamin D for at least three months. Taking 1,000 international units a day is nowhere near a therapeutic dose. A person would need a minimum of 5,000 IU and probably for the majority of people it would take 10,000 international units per day. I personally take 10,000 international units of vitamin D daily and I have achieved the op optimal levels in the serum 25 hydroxy vitamin D. Some people will question, well, what is the cost of all these tests? And Life Extension will sell you these tests for about $250 combined. 
but they are also available from a variety of other testing companies shown on the internet. I tend to go with Life Extension for two reasons. Number one, when I compare prices, Life Extension usually has the lowest combined price for a cluster of tests such as those I have just mentioned. But in addition, Life Extension offers a free consultation with one of their doctors. Um, so once you get your test results back in the mail and it's delivered by email, um, you can then call a toll-free number and speak to a medical doctor about your results and ask any questions you have. You'll be having almost 50 different lab test values reported, and so um, they'll be you know, easily topic of discussion for 30 minutes. So I find that is a very nice benefit, and for me it's enough to sway my decision, and so I purchase my blood test from Life Extension. Again, talking about cost, people will say, well, for one thing, if you have health insurance, your health insurance comp carrier may have a negotiated contract with the lab to actually lower that cost to you. I've seen these kinds of tests drop as low as $75, so it might not be $250. That would be the price if you purchased it directly and did not bill insurance. But keep in mind, heart attacks are expensive. Strokes are expensive, like 40000 to 50000 you know, depending on the duration of treatment. Diabetes is expensive and yields various expensive complications. Rational patients should be willing to spend a little more on these preventive tests rather than wait until the onset of various diseases. If you have any questions, please look for me on the internet. My domain is michaelguthguth.com. You can reach me by email at mike at michaelguth.com. And if you have a quick question, please feel free to write me and I will send you an answer shortly after receiving it. If you have a more detailed series of questions and want to arrange a 15-minute consultation or a 30-minute consultation, that will be fine as well. Thank you.